Uh, is, it, is that shelf crooked? Because it sure looks crooked. I don't know. Is it more crooked than it used to be? I have no idea. You know what, though? Welcome to the brand new hit. Wait, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. We used to say, welcome to the brand new hit critically acclaimed morning show called the... What's up? It has been a minute since we've done a podcast episode a like minute? this. Months. Many months. We're gonna see what it's like to do a podcast again. Maybe it's gonna have a little bit of a different format. I don't know. School's out. You've been doing camps. You're in dance camp right now. How's that going? Good. Oh, and you did audition for like competition dance. Hip hop, yeah. Well, they taught us a hip hop. Oh. And then we did it. Oh, that's cool. But you weren't excited about doing the audition, were you? No. Probably I just don't like being on the stage. Got it. Did you like doing the recital, though? Did you like preparing for it? You just didn't like the act of being on stage? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. There's a podcast I listen to called Smartless. Jason Bateman. It's like three actors. You probably don't even know who they are, but you, you know of them. Jason Bateman, he's been around for a long time. He's a, they're all very good actors. There's another actor, um, Sean Hayes. He was on Will and Grace, another show you haven't seen. You will see them in something eventually as, as you get older. But you know Will Arnett. He's the third host of this thing. And Will Arnett I is... Do? you. He's the voice of Lego Batman. You know that? He's got that really low voice. I'm doing it really well. Are you, though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm batman Ing. I'm Batman. I'm awesome. Jason Bateman was talking about how one of the hardest things he does is do he when he has to do a toast in front of people and everybody's kind of looking at him and he's like the focus of attention in front of a group of people. So he is a famous actor who's been doing it since he was like your age or something, like acting in front of a camera. He's done theater. He's done all this stuff on stage, but he still gets nervous when he's on stage and a bunch of people are just kind of watching him do something. Even people who are really good about acting in front of people and performing in front of people, when you do a movie, there's actually a lot of people watching, like the crew and stuff. Uh -huh. And sometimes you do television, he's done television, sometimes there's a studio audience watching. Or sometimes you do like a play that can also be like watches that is also recorded. Right. You get nervous about being on stage, but like it's totally normal to be nervous in front of people. And to try to still do it because you want to accomplish the thing that it allows you to accomplish. I get nervous too. Like I, I feel like I'm pretty good in front of people. We do I do all these YouTube videos. I perform plays in theater. I've I've done stuff in front of people with training and, and with you know with hundreds and people of watching and delivered speeches and stuff. And like the other day, I, for my company meetup, I had to just give a little talk about what my little group did, and I got nervous. And I was, on the, I think I also got nervous about being nervous. It was like, whoa, what is this nervous feeling? I haven't done this kind of thing in front of a lot of people in a long time. I shouldn't avoid doing it, right? It shouldn't be something that it's yeah. like, I should just deal with the nervousness. Next time would be better. By the way, they already know who's in and who's not. What? But we don't know? Yeah. Do you know? No. They didn't tell you? No. We won't find out until next week? No. Oh. Is there anything else you want to, want to talk about? You know, people have been using the word chuggy more again. Have yeah. you noticed this? We walked by someone and someone used the word chuggy as we walked by them. Really? Yes. <laughs> it's become like unchuggy to say chuggy again. Chuggy is a word we introduced a lot of people to on this podcast. I know. Like Sean. Out there, learn chuggy from us. Chuggy was chuggy when it first started. Yeah, chuggy was like immediately chuggy when we taught people chuggy. The summer of so many weddings, there's a glut of nuptials is tying all the guests in knots. Marry me, and then you'll see I am the best at everything, including commitment. Oh, we've read something similar to this. My How, like, favorite one was about the doodle dogs and the um, bunnies. Right, yeah. There's a fun little article on the front page of the Wall Street Journal usually. That one was about doodle dogs. And bunnies. Today's is about weddings. We read that thing about weddings last week where people are starting to get married without their other partner. If the, say the husband, there was a wedding where the husband got sick with COVID, but they had already delayed their wedding by a couple years. 
and they had already planned this wedding, so the husband just didn't show up to his own wedding. He stayed home sick. How did they even marry him? They got married separately in a separate ceremony, or just with like a judge or whatever. I think they went to go get married somewhere, just the two of them at one point, years ago, two years ago when the pandemic started. So then this was just the party, and they printed out a cutout of the husband, like a big picture of the husband, so that they could still dance and have the image of the husband somewhere. And maybe they'd put him on a Zoom call, but he, 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 he wasn't at his own wedding. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? I kind of don't, uh, you know, I don't understand their perspective, but I feel like that's a terrible idea. Like, I mean... Your wedding was the, one of the, I mean, it's one of the most memorable days of your life. Like, but if you get sick, it's like impossible to delay this stuff anymore. It's not like you get sick and you're like, well, let's just postpone the wedding a third time and expect all these guests to come in another time when they've already true. planned. Yeah. Everyone and their mom in my life is getting married, Miss Crocker says. Crocker. I feel like this is true too. Like so many of my um, team have, they're like going, going to like two weddings this weekend, or like you know we have three bachelorette parties coming up in the next like two weeks. Everybody's having parties. A survey on Zola, some wedding planning website, found that people on the site are attending four weddings and seven wedding-related events on average this year. Hey, May, quiet the noise! May, May! I can't hear you. Ooh, I've heard good reviews about the new Toy Story spinoff, <gasps> Buzz cool. Lightyear, yeah. Who is she? I don't know. Who is Izzy? Who is Sox and who is Izzy? Well, Sox, I think, is the cat. Oh, thanks. Alexa, Put on sunscreen. Quiet. Wear your sunscreen. <laughs>